Hi, boys and girls. I am going to be planning some of our reading lessons for the week. So this lesson is for um, Monday, May 11th. Um, our whole focus um, this week is going to be on nonfiction or informational text, text features, um, how authors use different kinds of um, structures and the way they organize information to help the reader understand. So the first text structure we're going to talk about for this week that we're going to focus on is, this is in your packet, it's description. So uh, basically description text feature is just to tell about something. So for here, the starfish has five legs and lives in the ocean. So when you're reading informational text, boys and girls, um, authors are going to give you information to describe whatever they're trying to teach you about. We've got some signal words down here. You might hear the words characteristics, uh, maybe for example, or to illustrate. So just be thinking about those as you um, go ahead and do the work for today, which is in your packet, you've got, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. You've got ten different small informational text passages about different kinds of animals, okay? So your job is to choose two of those. I want you to read it once, and then I want you to read it the second time. Okay, so what you're going to do when you're done is you're going to choose the from the two animals that you did, I want you to fill out, there are two of these, okay? So for one animal, I want you to go ahead and fill this out. So the directions say, after reading a nonfiction text, which is the animal passages, describe the main topic, write or draw the main topic in the center bubble, whoop, excuse me, okay? So that this is where the main topic is, okay? And then you're gonna describe the main topic in the outer bubble. So what you're gonna do is your animal goes here, and you're gonna pick four different ways the author used to describe that animal. You can do sentences, you can do short phrases. Um, you're welcome to draw pictures anywhere on here. So that would be for the first animal, and then that would be for the second animal. You might need to go back to the text and go ahead and highlight some of those, um, some of those descriptions. So for example, if I were to do um, I think I'm going to do koala. So um, I would prefer you to not do koala because Miss Willie is going to show you how to do this one, okay? So our text right here, this is what I'm reading from boys and girls right here, okay? So I'm actually going to put it up here if I can. It might be a little bit easier for you to see if I pull this a little bit closer. Bear with me. How's that? Okay, so if I were you, and I'm thinking about how the, how the author uses description. Koalas are not really bears. They can be found only in parts of Australia. Koalas spend 18 to 20 hours each day resting and sleeping. Koalas have rough pads. Hmm, that sounds like a description. It's describing something, so I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to highlight rough pads on their feet and hands, which are used for gripping the trees they live in. They spend much of the night eating eucalyptus leaves. Koalas can live as long as 17 years. They do not live in big groups, but prefer to be alone. So I know they're describing how they like to live. They like, they prefer to live alone, okay? So I like this word here, gripping the trees they live in. So kind of visualizing how they would use those rough hands on their of rough pads on their feet and hands. Um, you could also, because it's describing um, as far as their sleeping habits, you maybe do 18 to 20 hours resting sleeping. Do you notice how I did not highlight every single sentence, every single word, just those keywords that help you with description. So if I were to go ahead and do the graphic organizer, describe it, I would write koalas in the middle. Maybe I wanna draw a picture. Okay, and then over here, you're going to pick four ways that the author used to describe koalas, going back to those things that we highlighted. Okay, so you're going to do that for both of the animals. I'm just going to scooch my screen over just a hair. Okay, so in Epic, along with doing this for Monday, um, and you can do this next part anytime during the week, boys and girls, but on Epic, I assigned you a collection called Animals. I just want you to be, when you're picking one or two books or three books throughout the week, thinking about how the author did use that text structure of description to help the reader visualize and understand the information a little bit better. Okay, so that is your lesson for Monday.